Welcome back, this is Balascuba with an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Vash, Lamia, and Luke. When we last left off, we were we were pretty much done with the Black Omen, more or less. We just we just have to go through the scary door. Are you ready to go through the scary door? I think I am. So let's go ahead and go through there. <laughs> it's a scary door. What's on the other side? We are. What? Can I can I like interact with these in any way? No. Okay. So just just little clones. I can't even really get over here to look at the other ones. Luke, why aren't you here? Ugh. Cause he's technically optional. What do we have up here, though? We have Queen Zeal. How are you doing? Things going well for you? Behold my pretties, destiny in its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been, all the happiness and sorrow you might have experienced, gone forever. For you, there will be no tomorrow. The Black Omen transcends time and space, waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall rest forever, unless you can defeat me and smash the Omen. Come, dear friends, perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. Did I say dreams? I meant his eternal nightmare! And it's boss time. We are definitely in position, even though it hasn't said it. Th there we go. Definitely boss time. And she starts off very, very meanly. Ugh, no dick move. She starts off with Halation, which reduces everybody's HP to 1. Now, basically my strategy here is to use uh, my strongest uh, my strongest attacks and, you know, heal when necessary, which is probably more often than I would like. That is why I have all these Lapises here, though. Does heal everybody by 200, which will take care of her other attack, and she stole some of Lamia's MP. Now, if you've got Novin or Bloom with you, this would be a great time to start busting out Frog Squash and the Crisis Arm by keeping your HP at 1. I don't like using that strategy unless I absolutely have to, and I don't think I absolutely have to, so I'm going to stick with everybody just kind of doing their thing. Now that everybody is healed, though, I do want to cast Haste again. Let's go on you first. Ugh. I'm going to risk keeping everybody at 1 HP for a little bit here, and I should be able to handle it. Fash is quickly running out of MP, though, so I will need to heal him eventually. That is not something that I look forward to, but it's got to be done. I should have probably put the silver stud on him like I put the gold stud on Luke, but that's another matter. Hurry up! All right, let's go for another Lapis. Ah, right afterwards. Perfect timing. Yeah, she ends up spamming that. She does have an attack that does do a little bit of damage, so there is a danger of you dying. It's not like that's her only attack. That and the MP Stealer. She does have an attack that can kill you, so you do want to at least try to keep most of your party above 1 HP. Unless, of course, you're going for this Frog Squash Crisis Arm. But I wouldn't recommend that strategy, to be honest with you. Would not recommend it at all. And down goes Zeal. We've got a Mega Elixir out of that. Good enough, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> My powers don't seem to work here. Wait. I'll simply toss you into the Mammon Machine. You'll be one with the Omen Lavos and me. That does not sound pleasant. We're gonna go inside the mammoth machine? I don't know if I like the sound of that at all. Oh, by the way, you can charm a Mega Elixir off of her. Not that I would, because she drops one anyway. You can also s charm a Mega Elixir off this guy here. He modifies all energy, because he's a douche. All right, let's go for uh, haste first on yourself. You need to uh, use like a Hyper Ether. There we go. 
get your MP back, magic becomes attack power, attack up. Now this guy is pretty much a DPS race, and therefore I'm going to need to keep using haste uh, around, the, well, on everybody. <laughs> around the horn, I guess uh, I meant to say, but that doesn't quite make sense, but it made enough sense. We need to take him out as quickly as we can, so I need to put haste on everybody. So, let's keep going for this. Uh, basically, magic attack is going to raise his uh, his attack, while, while physical attacks from us is going to raise his defense. So you're going to want to use magic attack. That's really the only way to do a good amount of damage to him, to be honest with you. The physical attacks aren't going to be able to handle it after a period of time. Yes, of course. I don't like how they don't tell me who already has haste, but luckily I know that I just need to put it on Luke and then I am good. Because he's being especially slow right now. What, a couple more luminaires should should be enough here. Well, a couple more runs through, I so should say. And then now that, uh... Now that Lamia has hasted everybody, I actually do need to do uh, just one aura whirl, just in case we don't kill him in time. Just in case we don't kill him in time. We might be able to, but uh, just in case, let's go for the aura whirl. Just to make sure that everybody does live through his attack should he get it off. It's pretty much one attack that he does, and that's definitely more than enough for us to live through that. So we're going to keep going for our most powerful attacks, which are uh, Dark Matter and Luminaire. Lamy is not helping out that much in the attacking portion, but that's okay. That's not really what she's here for. There's his attack. No, I want to go for Luminaire. Okay, seriously. What the hell? It's okay, game. You'll live. You'll live. Damn it! He did not live. Okay, so... Life 2, please! Maybe you can go for a Dark Matter. I swore that was enough! Vash apparently has, like, no magic defense. That is a problem. I'll see what I can do to fix that. But now he's full on HP, thanks to that Life 2. Take out the Mammon Machine! It must die! I told you guys we were gonna have to fight this eventually. I was right. And, yes, now he stands still. And Vash's haste is gone. Ugh. Why'd you have to die, Vash? Why? The haste was working so well for you, but once again, if you want to, you could try to keep uh, Novin or Bloon at 1 HP from the last fight, and you'll be able to do more damage, but you're living dangerously by doing that. And I don't always like living dangerously, just sometimes, just sometimes. Go, Luminaire! knock out the mammon machine. We're getting... I, I believe we are getting close here. Nope. Still standing still, which means I have nothing to do. Oh, he does have a regular attack, by the way, but it doesn't really do that much. Go for uh, Ice 2. Why not? Just in case this dark matter doesn't take care of it. Eighteen hundred more? And still not enough. So go Ice 2. Are you kidding me? Down he finally goes. I was about to say, this is taking forever. But down goes the man machine. We have defeated it! The thing that they've been teasing us with, probably the second longest, this big obvious boss enemy that that we all knew we were going to fight, but never got around to fighting. We have finally defeated the Mammon Machine, and now what? Now what are we doing? We defeated the Mammon Machine. We defeated Zeal. Who is left? There's only Lavos, isn't there? Are we going straight for Lavos? Sure, surely we are not going straight for Lavos now. You're going to give me a chance to heal before Lavos, aren't you? Oh, we're on the outside of the Black Omen. What? What could be we see here? Uh oh. We're oh, it's a portal. It's Zeal again. I thought we defeated you. 
we never really can defeat them, I guess. Well, she kind of ran away. You cretins! I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever. You will not get in my way. Idiots. Nothing can live forever. Zeal, a pitiful woman duped by Lavos. I myself will bring an end to all of this. Prophet, you are doomed. I haven't forgotten what you did at the Ocean Palace. You will now forfeit your life. And it's an another do boss time? Is that what we're going for here? We're going for another boss time. And it's just a, f a mask and two disembodied hands. I, d I don't understand. But it's zeal somehow. 